Star Trek, the original series, review. Captain James T. Kirk leads a crew of space travelers around the universe in a daring five-year mission that they somehow complete in only three years to go where no man has gone before, but where woman has been for quite a while. Basically, that's the overall plot. This takes place in the future, a rather bright future at that. There's a lot of harmony and it's a bit of a utopian ideal of the future, basically. And through going to various planets, the show explores different aspects of you know, culture, humanity, various emotional states and philosophical concepts, usually through very humanoid aliens. We have a trifecta of main characters in James G. Kirk, a bit of a mix of the other two who are the Dr. Bones, Dr. McCoy, who's a very passionate man who doesn't really have faith in science and technology. He believes that it should come from within, you know, the spirit. And the one of the humanoid like humanoid aliens, a Vulcan and apparently on planet Vulcan you evolve exactly the way humans do, except you get sharper ears and wit. And this Vulcan is... believes entirely in logic and science and technology. He abhors emotion, basically. Although he's only half Vulcan, that's an important thing to note about the show. And basically these two act as James conscience and sort of, you know, they're aspects of him. And it, it's not unlike, you know, the, the Freud's egg with the, you know, the ego and the, the, you know, that whole thing. This is also why the TOS movies work so well because, you know, the movies need to focus on singular characters and the focus is then on those three characters, whereas movies based on next gen are uh, also focus on just a few characters even though that show is more of a anyway that shows more about you know the many different characters so anyway basically something important to note about the show is that it did not have that much money and it is very much from the 60s. It has not, in all regards, aged all that well. So if, you know, some sexism and reused effect shots are going to bother you a lot, then this really isn't the show for you. But if you can get past that, it actually does have a lot to still make it watchable and worth watching, worth your time. The explorations of the different themes are pretty good. The acting can be pretty good when it isn't really bad. Anytime you talk about the acting of TOS, you of course have to bring up Kirk himself. Shatner... Shatners. That's, if, if you've seen Shatner in almost anything, that's just him, that's how he acts, you know, and... It's a lot of fun to watch, actually, but, you know, some will might find it distracting. Nimoy is brilliant as Spock. You know, you can really feel this sort of struggle to keep 
logic at the forefront to never indulge in emotion, really. The, the different seasons are not all that different, although the third one can get really bad at times, but with all three seasons, it's really, there are certain episodes that are just fantastic, some episodes that are then just good, and then there are just really bad episodes. You know, there, there's a pretty wide range of quality. And honestly, unless you grew up with the show, you might just want to ask someone you trust, someone unbiased who has watched the entire show, to just, you know, give you a list of the episodes to watch. You know, otherwise, you might not want to sit through all of them just to get to the good ones. And you can actually get away with this partially because of the almost entire lack of continuity to this show. Basically, they wanted you to be able to watch one episode of this sh one episode of the show, any episode, and that would be it. You know, you can there's no real first episode. There's no episode where everything is introduced and explained. That's also something important to note. The techno babble. If you don't already know, just just go with it. It's not going to be explained. You just have to basically, you know, understand from the tones of voice and the changing, you know, and the, the changes in tones of voice and attitude through the scenes where techno babble is riddled throughout to gleam. Okay, basically, this is good. This is bad. That's about it, you know. You and and the same with you know the various the various characters the various devices basically just you know as you watch various episodes you get an idea of what it's like and what they can do and what they can't do and that's about it you know there's and you know this is it has you know both good parts and bad parts to that approach. Basically, you do have to watch several episodes to completely understand, but you can also skip any episodes, really. You can watch just one episode and you'll get the gist of it. You'll basically understand, and you won't be missing out on arcs, mostly. The effects are not that great. I personally don't... I would argue that bad effects in and of themselves, you know, th this is not an effects show. It's all about the characters. So that the effects are not that great is not in itself a big issue, but sometimes it can actually be kind of difficult to tell what is going on, what is supposed to be conveyed by the effects. And that's a bit unfortunate, obviously. The writing varies, and you can tell that they had several writers, and they didn't all... You know, sometimes they... So, something is suddenly completely different than it was in other episodes. And... You know, just no one else picked up on it, and it went into production like that. The show doesn't necessarily get out any ideas that weren't already out, you know, philosophically and in sci-fi at the time, you know, in the I guess, late 60s, but it does, you know, present them, and hopefully to a new audience also, you know, so that you know, you could watch the show and have these ideas explored that you might not have heard before, but that are already out there. And again, many of these themes are explored in a pretty compelling way. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.